Over the last 12 months, I've gone from running operations for a national moving company with zero technical background or experience and replaced that income with an AI-based online business. So as you can imagine, there was a bit of a learning curve there, right? And it actually took me a significant amount of time to get some traction and get my foot in the door, but I realized I made it a lot more difficult than I had to. So this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to position yourself and get started. If, you know, I had to do it all over again, this is the way I would go about it, okay? So keeping in mind, you're not a business until cash changes hands, right? This is just how I would position myself and not waste a bunch of time agonizing over, you know, your brand values and ICP and all that stuff. Okay, so with that, let's jump into Google Gemini. You can use ChatGPT or whatever platform you prefer. I just like Gemini. I find most people spend way too much time on trying to figure out what niche they should target or their ICP or like their <laughs> core brand values and stuff. And like, it's very important to have a clear idea of who it is that you're helping, like what problem you're solving. But I mean, people agonize over this stuff and they'll spend weeks on, you know, this, this <laughs> just doing when they could have put that time into actually getting some real insights or working in the industry. Okay. So we're going to use our chat friend here to act as a coach to help us get to the bottom of what we would likely be good at, okay? So we're, I'm gonna use Aqua Voice rather than typing. Um, if you haven't picked up, I'm not affiliated with Aqua Octavo Voice, but like it's been a game changer for me. Voice dictation has made my life so much easier. So anyway, I'm gonna talk to this thing, give it a prompt that'll help us get to the bottom of our strengths, okay? Here it comes. Act as a career coach. I am starting an AI-based business and I would like you to help me define my target industry and ideal client profile. I'd like you to ask a series of clarifying questions about my personal interests and disinterests, my previous experience professionally, and the sort of problems I could see myself solving. Boop. Punch it in there. See how easy that is. I love it. Anyway, clarifying the goal. It's going to do some thinking. Uh, of course, I'd love to help you. Okay, so I'm just going to read this out and I'm going to speak through it again. Voice to text is the best. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So part one, my interests section is about generally excites you outside of work. What topics, hobbies, or industries do you find yourself reading about? I like philosophy, filmmaking, and music, personal fitness as well. Think of a project, personal and professional, where you felt completely energized and in the zone. I enjoy, yeah, filmmaking, music. I actually do enjoy residential moving and exercise. On the flip side, what kind of work or industries feels draining or uninteresting? Data entry, um, anything at a desk, ironically enough. <laughs> I like to be a little bit more engaged. Professional experience, briefly walk me through your professional background. What industries have you worked in? What are your key roles, proudest accomplishments? My previous experience is operations and logistics. I have a wealth of hospitality experience as well as um, event management and performance. Uh, frontline work in physical capacities, that sort of thing. Proudest accomplishments, I am several years clean and sober and I turned my entire life around. What are my core skills? Think technically, language processing, visually, strategically. My differentiator is I am exceptionally good at lateral thinking. I don't have a traditional education background in that I didn't go to university for a degree like a lot of other folks. I do, however, have a knack for transferring abilities gained in different circumstances. For example, I've learned a lot about business through a previous venture in music. Uh, within which industries do you have the strongest network, insider knowledge, probably in moving, logistics. I know a lot about moving and logistics. Um, probably want to solve. If you could use AI to fix one major inefficiency, frustration, or problem you've personally witnessed in the past job, what would it be? Poor communication. I absolutely have a lot of experience, not just in my own business, but in working in others of people having all of the communication tools imaginable. And we still need several meetings a week to get coordinated. Are you more drawn to creating AI solutions that enhance creativity and human potential, optimize systems and boost efficiency, improve quality of life and well-being? I would say A, enhance creativity and human potential is my preference. Describe what type of person you'd love to help. What is my ideal client, a small business owner struggling to keep up, a creative professional trying to break through, or a large enterprise? I would say it's somewhere in between small business owner and creative professional. I obviously am attracted and drawn to people in similar situations as myself, people with similar personalities. However, I do enjoy a diverse group of friends and learning from others. I just really essentially want to be valuable by being valued, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I enjoy helping people. So now we're going to copy that in giant, giant bit of text and see what Gemini has to say. DNA, that's exciting. So the creative operator, you have a rare blend of right brain creativity and left brain logistics. Sick. So I'm using my uh, 
All 10%. The embodied thinker, you thrive in environments that are physically and mentally engaging, disinterested and purely sedentary, deskbound work, correct. Bridge builder, your greatest skills are lateral thinking. That's what I said. Target, industry, brainstorm, independent film and video production, event management, fitness and wellness studios. That's fun. This is actually different than uh, the people I'm, I'm currently working with. <laughs> it recommends, I don't know what the heck that was, to speak to five to 10 visionary practitioners in that field. Don't sell them anything. Just listen, get market research. That is massive. That is huge. I'm going to move forward pretending I already did that. Which of these offers the highest potential for revenue and is going to keep you the busiest? Verdict and recommendation. Recommend, I strongly advise you to focus on the independent film and video production industry. Okay. Sits in the perfect middle ground. Let's go with it. This is an interesting pivot. Because uh, honestly, I don't serve these people. So you know what? We're learning in real time. Um, but this is something I definitely want to get into. Even when I was moving, I found that work on film sets was always like the most fulfilling. So anyway, let's, let's do it. <laughs> Can you please generate three potential offerings for the independent film and video production industry with my AI-based business in mind? Go. All right. Okay, cool. It's got a few different things I could build out. Whether they're profitable, whether I can do it, I'm not sure because I haven't spoken to the people. This is just kind of like a speed demon thing. So I would actually reach out on like LinkedIn to five people in this industry and be like, hey, man, you know what? I'm starting this. This is what I was thinking of doing. But we're going to go with these and pretend that they are absolutely dollar bills for this industry. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build just a, a landing page or a website so I can actually like sell people on, on uh, my offer. Okay. So let's move over. And I'm going to do that with Lovable. I'm not sure if you guys have ever used Lovable, but I definitely recommend using Lovable. It's not just for websites, but it makes websites incredibly easy. And you can host them for free. You push them through to Vercel um, through GitHub. I can show you how to do that in a minute. They're not just great for websites. It's good for like any sort of like web platform you can imagine. Like you can build your own CRM. You can build... Um, I, I used to use it for presentations. I still use it for type forms and that kind of thing. So anyway, explore Lovable. I actually have a pretty comprehensive primer on lovable in my school community you can check that out and learn all about it for free i'm going to prompt this now to help lovable build our website just noticing it didn't break down any sort of price so let's start with that okay so that's fantastic can you generate a pricing model based on competitive market research please all right so uh it output like a subscription model so that's okay but i would say please add an initial setup fee on top of the monthly subscription model let's go with that and then also generate a prompt that will direct an AI coding assistant to build out an SEO optimized website based on everything you know about our ICP and our offer, including high converting best practices and a clear transparent breakdown of our cost structure. Boop. Let's go with that. Let's get ready for Lebo. I go updating structure fees here. Yeah, cool. All right. Prompt for AI code, coding assistant. Okay, so. Let's steal this. Honestly, that was not a great prompt because I didn't give it any examples. I didn't give it any ideas about websites I like or anything like that, but we're still going to see what we get. I got filming this and then I remembered I had a meeting, so I had to take a break and then now I'm coming back. So <laughs> if I remember correctly, we just finished prompting Lovable with our... Oh my God. Okay. This is awesome. This is why I love this platform so much is we didn't give it any specific directions in terms of styling or whatever. We just gave it like key information on our offer trusted by Netflix. Now yeah, you're making that up. Anyway, I think this looks great. Blue and orange is kind of my thing if you hadn't already seen, but I think this looks fantastic. Very modern, very fake testimonials. We would replace that obviously. Transparent pricing. This looks really professional. Anyway, so let's see what else we got here. Pricing is probably going to bring me right back there. Solutions. There's our offer. I kind of want to change the text from, oh no, never mind. Challenges, red, that's awesome. How Film AI helps, fantastic. Spot for blogs, oh my God, free SEO, right? Okay, this is great. I think you can see obviously that that took no time at all. Um, even in real time, it's been about an hour, but this spun up in like 10 minutes and then we've been doing the other part live, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna develop a marketing strategy to figure out Firstly, where these people are, uh, how to reach them, and what our next steps are for the next like month. Okay, so let's talk to this instance of Gemini and then go do some deep, re re deep research. That's fantastic. Can you take everything you know about our ICP and our offer and generate a summary that we can later use to inform another model to do deep research regarding marketing strategy? 
It's a lot of word. I think it's important to tell you why I prefer Gem. Well, one, the output is good. Uh, secondly, Gemini has options here where you can, they call, they're called gems, essentially. It's where you train this model on information that you want to talk about, okay? So like once we do the executive summary, once we do this deep research, I'm gonna feed that to a gem and we are going to be able to talk to that with all the information that it pulls Use the following information to do deep research and develop a marketing strategy in the film industry. Find out where these people are and how we should move forward with marketing our AI service to filmmakers and production companies. Okay. The info. Boop. All right, let's see what this comes up with. Yeah, I'm excited. While I'm here though, actually, I should show you how to host these on Vercel. So Vercel hosts static websites for free and you just built a static website for free. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sync this with GitHub and GitHub is just a platform people use to be able to control their web apps and stuff. I'm trying to simplify it, but you can post code and different apps and like websites and stuff to GitHub and cycle through different versions so that updates and version management is, is taken care of really easily. That was as simple as I can get. So connect to GitHub, we're going to Push it to my GitHub. Yeah, two-way sync, perfect, transfer anyway. There we go. So this just pushed my film website to my GitHub account. There we go. And so we're gonna go to Vercel. I just closed that window <laughs> like an idiot. Uh, so we're gonna go to Vercel. We're gonna log in, we're gonna create an account. We're gonna go to just the overview and go add new project. And as you can see, it is pushed right here from our GitHub account, we go import, deploy, and then it takes a couple seconds. Ta-da, and then it is deployed on Vercel. So any edits you make on this website in Lovable are also pushed through to Vercel. So the advantage here is you can use your own domains. This takes a minute. I'm gonna show you about this later, I think. Or I have a short about it. You should check out the short. So continue to dashboard. And then you just go to domains and you follow the instructions add domain, right, to tie it in with your hosting service. Boom, bang, done. Free website, free landing page, really, really easy. Let's see how our deep research is doing. Oh, I didn't even start it, my goodness. So this is gonna take a couple minutes because it's searching everything. Oh, there we go, see? Researching websites on Reddit, on all this stuff. Awesome, oh, this is great. I was not aware of these guys, so I'm gonna research these guys themselves and see what they're actually doing. Production software. Dude, we could even build this in Lovable. Keep it a web up. Cartoon Network, they're definitely way ahead. Call shit screenplays, docs, storyboards, contacts. I, yeah, this is. Curious what that's all about. Anyway, visualize. Honestly, we could even poach some of the features from from these guys and build it out in Lovable. We almost there? 75%. Check this out. This is huge. What, and they got tables? <laughs> I don't know why that was the thing I was impressed with. Like, oh, look it, they got tables. <laughs> uh, credibility through association. This pillar focuses on forging deep, meaningful partnerships with the industry's most respected institutions. That's a little ambitious, but I love it in any business. You know, the cliche, your net worth is your network or however that, I think I got that backwards, but I, the, the people you associate with and those that, you know, in adjacent industries or, or people that you work closely with really have a lot to do with your level of success, right? Because if you are valued by valuable people, I can talk a lot about that and nobody's interested. But anyway, you've got a lot of information here, right? So let's save this. Uh, let's copy contents, but let's just export this to Google Docs for now, right? We're going to save this document. There you go, filmmaker. And we're going to download as a PDF. There it is right there. Awesome. So like I was saying before, uh, Google's got their own way of making like a custom GPT. You know what I mean? Like ChatGPT has their, their custom GPT store and stuff. So these are the equivalents. Google Gems. So let's go with new gem. Let's call this Film AI Market Research. My God. Dude, this is why I switched over to voice dictation. I'm not even fucking using it. <laughs> anyway, uh, upload files. Let's do that PDF we just downloaded. Yep, right there. Um, instructions. Boop, boop, boop. I think I should do a prompt to get the prompt. You know what I mean? Let's go with this. Okay. 
Your task now is to instruct a custom GPT as to how they are to use comprehensive market research done on our target audience and client profile. Yeah. Sometimes I like when they name stuff because it makes me happy, but other times I don't like when they name stuff because it's not relevant. Anyway, let's go boop, there and save. Start chat. Okay, so let's talk to this thing. Or, you know what, I want to actually see what the difference is in response. That is fantastic. Thank you. So with that deep research in mind, please generate an action plan for my next seven days. I think I'll leave it at that. And I'm just going to copy the same prompt. These aren't the world's greatest prompts. Actually, this isn't going to have any context. With our marketing strategy in mind, please give me actionable steps for my first seven days launching this AI-based business. Let's see what we got. What do you got? Fair market research. So let's go with this. Day one, foundation and priming. Confirm your core identity, your prime directive. Yeah, rationale. Do not launch. It's just another software tool. Cool. Build a value-first digital presence. Core message should involve emphasizing. Yeah. Okay, great. So this is what we're doing for the next week. It gives us an actionable step-by-step -step framework as to what we should be doing for the first seven days as we're getting this off the ground. So honestly, just follow the plan and you just keep going, right? Be like, what do I do the next seven days and the next month? You have like a 30-day breakdown in that deep market research that you can, you can pull from, right? So if I was starting again, I think I would hit socials a lot harder off the top. I just kind of like worked in the background quietly and I was a little bit nervous actually about putting myself out there, but I have noticed a distinct difference in not only just my confidence on calls, but the the quality of the responses I get and the easier it is for me to fulfill and like get to the heart of what people are struggling with. You know what I mean? Like like what I can actually help with. So I would recommend getting on like LinkedIn or Instagram or you know YouTube as much as it's not so much to generate traffic, even though that is a perk. It's really just to iron out some kinks and have some feedback and, and whatnot, right? So all that to say, let's generate a marketing asset to try and start generating leads from social channels and uh, get the conversation rolling, okay? That's fantastic. Thank you so much. So with all of this in mind, can you generate our first marketing asset to get the ball rolling on socials or getting the conversation going, lead magnet, whatever you think is best suited for our market and offer? Kick off your marketing and immediately demonstrate value, a lead magnet that directly addresses a critical pain point in the film production industry, cost delays and operational uncertainty is ideal. Your checklist. Okay, so there's the post. Fantastic. Okay, so let's generate the actual checklist now. Here's a visualization of what the magnet could look like. That's an awesome idea. Can you generate that checklist, please? And then I can copy paste it to a PDF. Okay, sweet. Our checklist. Can you generate a call to action that would direct people to our offer? I keep talking to this thing and I don't have my cursor in the text box. <laughs> I've obviously never had this problem before, but I'm filming, so that's why it's uh, coming up now. Okay, there you go. Secondary call to action. Lovely. Okay, so then we would just go ahead, copy paste this, generate an asset with like Canva or Gamma is another really good one. You can honestly like grab this information and put it into Gamma to, to generate like a slide presentation. I like napkin.ai as well. It's a good one. Um, but anyway, as you can see, uh, what do we have recording time wise? Not very much. We don't need to agonize over your ICP, over what niche and all this other stuff. It's best to just get rolling. And nobody says you have to be married to this thing, right? Like I would say, hold on to it for a couple months. And if you literally can't get any traction whatsoever, then consider redoing this whole exercise. But again, it shouldn't take you weeks. You should be able to sort this out in the afternoon, for example, right? So that is exactly how I would set myself up if I had to start completely over from scratch. But once again, this isn't a business until cash starts changing hands, right? So if you want to learn more about that, I encourage you to check out the link in the description where I have linked my school community. That's what we talk about. We talk about learning the AI skills with templates and tutorials. We also talk about how to get your first clients and how to convert those into referrals and recurring revenue that way. So if you got anything from this video, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, check out this playlist up here for more information and tutorials. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.